Welcome to another review here at Total Toy Recon. My name is Bob, and today we are going to be dealing with the new Mondo Wolverine 1-6 scale figure. Yes, this is the classic blue and yellow clad Wolverine in the color scheme of the X-Men the Animated Series. As you are looking at these pictures right now, these are their, these are their official pictures. I'm just letting them scroll through so that, you know, you can take a, take a look at them and such. Um, I haven't quite yet revealed what we're going to do here, but we are going to kind of show you how Mondo takes it up, takes it up a notch. Now, we've done several of these. We've done He-Man. We've done Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, and we are in awe of these awesome releases. Now, I'll post some extra reviews at the end. I'll definitely post a review to the one we're going to make a comparison to. But Mondo is on its own level. If you are a Mondo collector, you must have money or that that's all that you collect. I am a fan of Mondo's artwork. I'm a fan of all of the their posters, their vinyl. When they went into toys, sign me up. So what we're going to do now is I really want to show you the next level of what Mondo does when it's shipping. So I'm going to fade out right here. Look at that. And I've pre-cut the box. And I want to show you this really nice touch that Mondo does. So we have this extra layer of cardboard so you can't cut through it when you open it up. But this is what I love so much. These square pieces to ensure the edges of the box. Look at this. This is another level of dedication. Not only to their product that's inside the box, but the box itself as a piece of artwork. So we, these are not only here on this side, they're going to be at the bottom. Now I'm gonna fade out so we can make this a little bit quicker, but we will definitely talk about the box. All right, we're back. So I'm just gonna pan up just a little bit so you can get a full scale and scope of this bad boy. I mean, look at this. This is, this is storyboards. We're getting storyboards on a box. It's fantastic. I just almost dropped the F-bomb. It's fantastic. It's so cool. And I just wanted to show you, show you that, yes, we do have eight of these edges all so that we can take a look. So what, what do we have in here? Like what, what, what are the goodies? We've got, we've got a neutral head. We've got an angry masked head. We've got Logan unmasked. We've got Morph's head. We've got all kinds of crazy stuff in here that we've got the, I think we have the picture frame of, of Jean Grey and Scott. Uh, so it's got summer. So we're going to open this up. Let's get to it. Cause I know you guys are dying and I'm dying. You probably already fast forwarded to this part. So we have a bag here, a little bit of tape up here and just always very cautious. I love, you know what? And another thing, let's, let's talk about packaging. Okay. I, I know we're, that's where we're here. That's where we're, you're interested in the toy, but we have a whole video here at Total Toy Recon about what happened when we ordered some exclusives from a certain company who didn't even take the time to put it in a bag and it got rained on and it got ruined and we made a 45 minute video of how awful they were in treating their own product. So as you can see, we do have storyboards up here, stops, puts on the masks. I mean, look at this. These, this is the original, they don't, they don't even do animated hand-painted cells anymore so you're really getting this awesome really cool design here this is just fantastic stuff this is what makes us love our toys and our collectors so we do have special extra thanks here to eric L leewald julia leewald and jesse falcon look at this concept designed by mike bonanno hector arse we've got sculptors Tufan Caesar, Hector Ars, packaging design by Mike Bayano, painting is by Hector Ars, and art direction by Mono Toys and Collectibles. So this is really, I mean, look at this. We've got the, I'm sure there's probably a version where he's black and white too. They probably have that black and white version. But this box is its own artwork. And that's the thing you, I, I love about Mondo. Yes, their work is so hard to pick up when you want one of those posters. Go for a timed release like the Batman they just put out not too long ago. But Every once in a while, you get lucky, you find one. And if you're into toys, and I know that you are, this is something that you definitely want to check out. Now, I've made this mistake before, especially when I was trying to figure out how to open it up. I thought it was like a slide cover. No, they've got magnets here. 
on the side so that if you're an in-the-box collector... Oh, 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 my God. If you're an in-the-box collector, look at that. Oh, my God. It's almost... It's too perfect. You do not want to take it out of the box. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. So, we have the... We have the animated, you know, we just do the lightning thing. It was just in the opening title sequence. We've got, uh, we've got angry Wolverine. We've got passive Wolverine. We've got Wolverine. We've got Logan without his head. We've got Morph's head over here, and we have all these different hands and claws. So we're really going to get into this bad boy. Open him up, uh, and I'll I'll fade in and out here. So let's let's just get him out of the box right now. All right, so we've got him out of the package now. And we are at the next level set, set. So I've got to also throw out some awesome dedication to having a turkey leg with the action figure. Now, these, some of these here look like they're taped in. Let's do Morph's head first. Wow, they're not really wanting to give that up. All right, we're going to the next level here. So the one thing I don't see, and usually Mondo has it, is a stand. It's got to be here. It's usually on the next, on the bottom piece. Is it taped in? Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right, so here, we did hit a snag. I detached the piece in the back. I'm going to leave this in here. I do have stands with me. I have one right over here on the side. So I'm going to leave this in the box, the way it's attached. It's just taped in there. But you got to appreciate, again, look, we have Cyclops, Beast, Storm. Even down here in the bottom, we have Rogue. We have all the character names. We've got Professor X up here, Magneto. Really nice work, a great detail, sketches and everything. Really, really uh, a well done piece, well thought out. And that, that's what I like it. Like there was, nothing has been left to chance. So let's get Wolverine out of there. All right. Sorry for the, we, we faded out. There was a lot to take off in the back. We've got lots of plastic twist ties. They are not metal, they are plastic. But what we've got here is we've got the neutral masked head and angry masked head, which is already on. We've got Logan's head. We've got Morph's head. So technically you could have two action figures. We've got the photo with Scott and Jean. We've got the Thanksgiving turkey leg. We've got the Claw Energy Hands, which is more for the cartoon series. I've never quite completely understood that. Kind of worked in the video game. We have seven interchangeable hands, two fists, two natural hands, one C-grip, one Kamir hand, and one picture frame hand, and then a figure stand. And we're going to leave the figure stand in the box. So this here is clearly our figure uh, hand stand. Or maybe it's this one. So it kind of looks like a trigger hand, but he has no gun. So let's pull... Wolverine himself out. And let's do what I like to call the inst... Oh, man. All right, we're going to get this off to the side here. And man, oh, man, is he heavy. So let's let's do what I call the instant pose. And I really... Man, he is sturdy. He is vicious. Look at this paint. Oh, wow. Look at this paint application right here. Very much in the comic book vein, uh, cartoon vein. Um, I could have sworn I saw one of the hands in one of the pictures have just a single claw. So kind of a little bit of a paint smudge right there. But talk about details here. I mean, it's such uh, another little paint smudge. A couple of little paint application problems. We have one there, not too bad, and we do have one up here under his, under his chest, right there. You cover, you do this, and you're not going to see it. You know, you bend the leg in. That's just, you know, it's hey, it's it's paint, it's toys, it's part of it. We do have a little bit smudging right there. <clears throat> Look at these. I mean, they're vicious. They're big. Big and vicious. So here's my instant pose. And if you watch any of my reviews, I do not have the flattest surface. So I'm really working against the elements here. But there he is. Oof. All right, so let's do some changes here. Let's, let's mix it up a bit. 
and let's do let's start with the fists. The claws kind of freak me out a little bit because they feel fragile. They're not. I thought for sure that the that these popped out. I could have sworn I saw a picture where one of them popped out. But let's like two of them popped out. Ow! And I just stabbed myself with it. So we're gonna need a all right. It's the wrong hand. Ooh, so we're gonna do two of the open hands. And what I immediately want to say is look at the color difference here. So you really got to match these up properly. Look, very different blue. Got a dark hand here, light hand. See how the color scheme is different on each side. See? Hope you can see that. It's just enough that it's a little bit different. And then we're going to get our counterpart hands over here on the other side. So here we have two more hands. So these are the claws that are not out. And this looks like, I didn't quite say a C hand. Nah, I think this is the picture frame hand. So we'll find out. Ow. Look at that. That is from where I stabbed myself with the claw. Right there. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put this one in. And then, careful not to... My hand is literally, ow, literally flinching so I don't stab myself again. But I'm trying to match up the color schemes with the hands here. So these hands, that's the same hand, so I can't do that one. Color scheme's a little bit different. But then if you look at, if you look at the color scheme here of the arm with the gauntlet, this matches. So then if you put this one over here, may seem like an odd choice because the colors really don't line up, but they do once you put them together. So here, again, see the blue goes right into it. So it's really working out the details of the actual uh, character himself. Let's give him a... Uh, give Wolverine... Uh, Professor Logan kind of pose. I mean, you know, it's it's solid. It really is. All right, so let's put a different head on him now. Let's do Logan's head. We've got a little bit of uh, plastic around here. So again, we see the color applications uh, for the character um, as it was on the cartoons. We can see how the paint is slightly different here, matching the color palette of the show and what they used on the series. But it's a really good... Uh, face paint of Wolverine. I'm still still sort of bleeding over here. But we've got a lot of pointy edges. We've got the cowl up here. We've got the boots down here. Again, just got to really be careful. Also, you don't want to not just you don't want to not just stab yourself, but you also don't want to break any of those pieces off. <clears throat> okay. We got the head off here. Guys, our neck. All right, I'm fading back in. I'm having a little problem uh, getting the the Logan head on, so I'm gonna try the pensive Wolverine head and see if I can get that one on instead. Again, afraid to burn, uh, stab myself. All right, well, I got the original head back on, and what I really hate doing is going to get a hair dryer. I really don't want to do that. All right, everybody. Sorry, we're back. Um. My hand's a little mangled, but what I was able to do was I had to use a hair dryer um, on this part. Now, this is the one I had on, so I had to use it on this part, um, op warm it up so that I was able to put it back onto the peg, uh, to put it on this, to put the Logan head on for the first time on the peg. So that was a little weird, a little different. Um, I haven't had that problem with a Mondo um, to this point. Uh, with a figure. So it, this is brand new. I mean, you literally saw me take it out of the box for the first time. So I'm going to concentrate on clearly, you know, the heads are going to work. You just about, two, about a minute or so under the hair dryer, And I was able to get um, the this head back on. So I'm going to switch and kind of focus on the, the accessories in the hands at the moment um, and see what else we can do here. So let's, um, let's move on to... 
the turkey leg. We have another hand up here that we haven't really done too much with yet. And then of course we're going to do what has become an iconic meme now. The picture of the Summers of, well, were they ever the Summers on the show? That I don't really know. But Scott and Jean. So what we're going to do is, I think this is, yeah. So this is going to be our one where we're going to have the picture frame hand. See, look at that. Now let's see if he can hold it that way. Um, so going to be lazy Wolverine here. Now, there is a version of this where you do have the bed of him sitting in there, which has become a meme. And we do have this really nice picture frame. You don't see many. Wow. It almost appears as if I could pull the picture frame out. I could pull the picture out of the frame. Great detail there, of course, by Mondo. So we've got that looking down and then um let's see here so this looks like our best hand for the chicken bone uh, turkey leg sorry i'm just gonna stick that in there and again i'm showing you this to you in real time with some of these dilemmas and problems so that if you do pick this up it's a full review and you do get a sense a little of the ink came off here on the chicken leg but you know to be expected brand new so here we've got wolverine looking at the iconic picture there we go now we're going to shoot it from the other angle of course so that you can see your sad Wolverine looking at the picture. We can see the picture. He can't see us. Um, so let's see if we can change some of this back. We're going to do... Wolverine with some claws. Again, lots of carefulness going on here. And we do have the, the drumstick. But we're going to go with a hand. So again, the paint application and the color palette, all concise. Really, really cool. Really, really vicious looking. Let's see if I can get the original head back on. So that came right off. It comes right off. That's easy. So this is the more pensive Wolverine. We're gonna give this one a shot here. This is the one it came with, so we're just gonna put this one right back on. Okay. Kind of want him to have a fist. He doesn't really have a fist. So let's see if we can do a little bit more of a pose here. I mean, he is the best at what he does. Nice ball joints in the legs. Really going to get a solid pose here out of him. Wow. And so, again, um, just really just a lot of great stuff here that, uh, that Mondo has put in with the stuff. It's just the head was a little tough. The hands, no problem. We've got seven different hands here and a, and a turkey leg. Um, we've got lots of different hands. The paint applications work. You can have claws out, claws in. We've got a trigger finger here, you know, a Khmer the Khmer finger. So we could do that. You know what? We'll finish him that way since we didn't put that one in yet. Put the Khmer finger. It's such a big figure. It's just really well done but it's hard to do it in front of a camera when you're moving around so many pieces. And I really, the one thing I'm kind of bummed about is I really have to put my weight into it to get him to, uh, to do all the things that I, that I, I want him to do with the posing, but it's great because the character, I'm sorry, the figure is loaded with points of articulation, 
but I'm also seeing, you know, you really got to put your weight into it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring out a comparison in piece, and it's going to be a little bit harder to do because I realize I don't have his regular feet on. And by regular feet, I mean the creature from the Black Lagoon. So this is a Mondo release that we have is that we've done here on Total Turn Recon as well. And you can see that there is a slight height difference. Uh, granted, Wolverine is also a slightly shorter character. Um, and the creature is a little bit bigger. But as you can see, um, this is, you know, realistic. This is a cartoon style of the animation. But, you know, height difference. Wow. You know, really, really different. Um, when I did The Creature from the Black Lagoon, um, whose rev review I'll put up here, um, you can you can go over and see that. The heads came on and off with no problem. This is just a little bit tighter. And that's, that could just be mine. You know, it could not be every one of those. Um, but a quick hair dryer and you're able to, for about a minute, and you're able to move the heads on and off. So I do I do really like that they came with the Logan head and the pensive head. Um, there are multiple versions of this. There are variants. And then there's a Comic-Con exclusive. But this is a slightly longer review than normal. But there's so much to it. So... Nothing but uh, praise for it. Um, a little bit sore, but, you know, with a toy as cool as this, um, for a guy who has claws that literally hurt every time they come out, I think it's a, it's a small sacrifice to make. This is Bob from Total Toy Recon. Just saying, definitely want to pick one of these guys up if you're a Wolverine fan, um, especially if you're a fan of the animated series. Really, Mondo um, is taking it up a notch. You know, I kind of wish that some of the Marvel Legends, uh, that the... the the 12-inch scale figures were as cool as this one. Um, I don't even think they have anything that's even close to this. It's 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 a it's a pale comparison. So, thank you for tuning in. Please check out our reviews and a big thank you to Mondo for sending this out really quick right after it came out. Um, have an awesome day.